Hey Beavers, it's Tuesday and I'm Lori and you're watching The Beaver Bunch. Uh, this week we have a question that I may or may not answer uh, because um, last week on Wednesday, I, I'm sure you've all heard about the 14 year old who committed suicide in the United States. And, um, and that really, really affects me. And I, and I hope it affects you too. But I really just, I have to talk about it. Um, and what I want you guys to know is that, like, when I hear about Jamie, I think about you. Like, I mean, I think about you who, li who watch, who listen, who, um, who come here looking for a friend or, you know, um, a role model or advice or support or guidance or just a promise that it'll get better for you. Um, because we're here telling you that we're okay and that we're here for you and that, um, you know, it's okay to be different and um, whether or not you identify with any of us on this channel, um, I hope that you know that there's things that unite us as humans that, um, that you can always come to and that you can always find and that you can always relate to in us, whether you're from where where we're from or whether you're our age or um, our ethnicity or anything like us, you know, like we're, we're all, we're all in this together. And, um, and I want to bring up again that we are teaming up uh, this year with stompoutbullying.org who, um, they, they provide a lot of resources for schools or for communities that involve like advice and tips and, um, like guidelines and pamphlets for schools and things, um, dealing or, or even for parents, uh, if your kid's getting bullied or if your kid is the bully or, you know, explaining bullying or explain, you know, having, um, I think they have like blogs and they have a lot of like celebrity endorsements and stuff. I mean, this is like a big deal. And on October 3rd, um, we're wearing blue shirts in honor of Stomp Out Bullying. And we're doing it in honor of Jamie now. I mean, think about it. Like, he represents so much of, like, why bullying in school is not okay. Like, Jamie didn't feel like he could find help or he didn't feel like, you know, he felt like he was alone or, like, he couldn't withstand, like, the torment of everyday life. Like, people were making him feel like he was less than extraordinary and they were making him feel like he didn't belong. And each and every one of you belongs wherever it is that you are right now. And if not, then somewhere else. But really, like, you belong on this earth. And, like, you know, there's people that love you. And there's people that care about you so much. And, and, I, and I think that um, what's, what hurts so much about hearing about Jamie is that, you know, the torment of his day-to-day -day life, like, was too much. And it's like to think about somebody going through that like really really tears at me and I feel like probably many of you are going through that same thing in your school or in you know in your life or in your family and it's not okay like that's not okay and and you deserve so much better because I, I bet you're an amazing person and you know I bet Jamie was an amazing person and that's why it's so important that we're here that's what that's why we do what we do here on this channel. I know at least myself like I don't like to hear myself talk, but when I know that you relate to me or that you say, "Hey, you know, you make me feel happy or you help me get through today or you gave me something to look forward to or, you know, you you know, you saved my life." Like whatever it is, it's like that's why we do this. Like we we love you and we don't even know you because you're Jamie, you know, like that's, I, I just want you guys to know that like, that's why we do this. It's, I mean, I have no other reason. I really, I really don't. I just think like when I was Jamie's age or when I was your age, like I wish that there was something that I could go to and feel like I belonged or like it was okay to be me because I was sad too. Like everyone is sad when they are in the closet or when they can't be themselves and it just sorry <laughs> but it just nobody should feel that bad you guys are amazing so I just um I want you to know that you're not alone and if you ever ever feel like like how Jamie felt like you gotta call someone you gotta call the Trevor Project you gotta tell your parents you gotta 
get help. You got to go to therapy. You have to, you know, get medicated, whatever it is, but you have to take care of it because this life is so wonderful and you can have so much happiness and like high school and bullying and like people making you feel shitty. Like that's not the good stuff in life. Like you can get past this and you can get to the good stuff. So, um, I guess that's it. <laughs> I didn't mean to cry, but I have a lot of feelings all the time. I'm okay. I just, um, you can tell I'm just very passionate about this. So, uh, I love you guys and, um, you know, keep your chins up and, and you guys are so strong and it'll make you so much better of a person after and, um, you know, just, just get through it and, um, I love you. So I'll see you next Tuesday.